Hello and welcome to Green Japan, our series exploring Japan's innovative path to carbon neutrality. In this second report, we see how Japan promotes low carbon technologies in developing countries, where cutting greenhouse gas emissions is often hard to afford. Monica Pinner travelled to Kenya to find out more. Two hundred and fifty thousand tons of salt come out of these ponds each year. This is one of the main Eastern African producers. They've managed to cut down their carbon footprint by 25 percent thanks to cooperation with Japan. Crystalline salt runs using one of the largest industrial solar panel systems in Kenya. Financed by Japan, this solar plant provides 1.6 gigawatt hour of clean electricity annually. It allows the company to overcome the local grid's unstable supply. Our main challenge today is the electrical power stability. We can suffer up to five power cuts in a day, and that messes up with our production. The end result is that we are not able to cope with the demand. The grid's unstable supply forced the company to invest in polluting and expensive generators until 2016, when the solar plant was built. It was our dream, actually, to, to harness the solar energy. We learned of the agreement with the Kenya government and the Japanese government on the joint credit mechanism. And working together closely with them, they also helped us getting a grant to put up this magnificent uh, solar plant here. The joint crediting mechanism is a system of bilateral cooperation between Japan and 17 developing countries. It's a carbon market mechanism that was launched in 2013 aligned with Article 6 of the Paris Agreement. It allows Japan to share its technologies and resources, facilitating carbon neutrality worldwide. It works through support of uh, low carbon development projects, through technology transfer and technical skills enhancement. It is one of the ways in which private sector players and even government can be able to achieve low carbon development while at the same time um, supporting the, the process of industrial growth. Crystalline Salt's solar plant has allowed the company to increase its production capacity and to save on its electricity bill. Some of the savings are invested in social action like student grants. Since the inception of this power plant in end, uh, 2016, we have saved around uh, 5,000 tons of carbon emissions. We have been able to create more employment for the local community here. That has actually been a positive growth for us. We travelled to the heart of the Masai region to discover another project where Japan's expertise in clean energy is changing people's lives. David lives in a remote off-grid village. His solar lantern allows him to study at home at night. He's part of a project created by Japan's private tech giant, Panasonic, called Light Up the Future. When we were using firewood and kerosene lamps, studying was very difficult because of the smoke. When we got these lights, my marks went up because I could study well. Three hundred and fifty primary students were each donated a solar lantern at the Ilkimati School. The aim is to reduce dropouts and improve academic performance. There was an improved enrollment in the school. But one of the concrete uh, impact of this project was uh, also the, the improve uh, in performance, also improve uh, in issues of absenteeism. Because children, if they have not finished their, their homework, they fail not to, to come to school because they think that they, 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 they will get a punishment. As part of the project, the school was also supplied with solar panels and was able to increase the number of lessons. Before, we didn't have the power. After the introduction of the power here in the school, they are able to come for evening classes. Every evening they have one lesson and then they go home. As Japan continues to accelerate global action against climate change, Green Japan returns next week with pioneering projects on carbon recycling.